Jonathan Jones, Brian McFadden, CBS Sports, alongside the man in the middle, usually the man in the backfield. We're talking about Hassan Reddick, uh, all pro, all world mm. pass rusher out here in the NFL. Hassan, first of all, thank you for joining us. No problem. Um, yeah, of course. Y you, um, you know, we just had this joint practice with the Browns. Seemed like both defenses today kind of won the day. What was your take on how uh, you were going up against the Browns offense? Uh, you know, we came out, we did a lot of things well. Um, it definitely felt like we won the day, but, you know, it's always something to work on. So we're going to go back, look at the film, see what we could correct, and then come out here tomorrow and get ready to do it all over again. Hassan, when you talk about your defense, number one, defense win championships. Forget everybody out there that cares only about offense and points. Defense win championships. You guys had 70 sacks a year ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, you surprised all of us. I guess internally this, that was an expectation for you guys within the building. But when you look at this group of pass rushers, uh, what's the difference in regards to the guys you have now compared to the guys you played with a year ago? Uh, I would say, you know, we lost, we lost some guys. Uh, but we also have some great young guys come in too who, you know, who's been looking really good, having a strong camp, um, who I think could come in and, and help us win, mm -hmm. you know. So we're going to get them on the field and get them going and, uh, you know, try to keep the same energy and the same motives and, uh, you know, the same goals that we had last year. Hassan, the only team in NFL history to have more sacks than the 2022 Philadelphia Eagles were the 85 Bears. Mm -hmm. Probably left some sacks out there. You probably want that record. Is that a goal for you and this team this upcoming year? I wouldn't say that's a goal. You know, it's hard. I, I'm yeah. not going to say here. Even even though we did it last year, it's hard to get 70 sacks. That's a that's a bunch of sacks. But the goal is to continue to be a a, a, a ferocious pass rusher. You know, a, a, a pass rushing team. You know, get out there, stop the run. Put the team, put the uh, other opposite offense in passing situations, mm. and that's getting after it. We that's that's our style of play. That's what we like to do. Um, so, like I said, it's definitely a goal of ours that we're going to keep this year. You talk about the depth on the defensive line. One of the more talked about newcomers for your defense, Jalen Carter. Mm -hmm. Now we've been hearing the rumblings, <laughs> you know, coming from OTAs and mini camps about how good he's looked. Mm -hmm. But for you, as as a sound, experienced vet on this team. Mm -hmm. What has surprised you the most about Jalen Carter? Man, he, he, his work ethic and just, you know, to be as big as he is, how, how good his feet is, how light he is, how, how he can jab and get around the guard so fast. You know, I talk about young guys that we had that could come in and help, mm -hmm. and he's one of them. Yeah. Absolutely. He's been amazing all camp, having a great camp. Um, and I'm excited to see what he can do for us on the field come the season. You guys lost Jonathan Gannon, the defensive coordinator, obviously the head coach now with the Arizona Cardinals. Enter Sean Desai. What's going to be the difference in this defense with Desai uh, calling the plays here on defense? Uh, you know, we're going to do a few things differently. We're going to attack the offense a, a little bit differently. Uh, but for the for the for the main part, we're still in attack defense. Mm. You know, we're we're still getting after it. Like I said, get them in passive situations. Let our dogs up front go ahead and try to get after the quarterback. So while there is a few little caveats, a few little differences from, you know, uh, Gannon's defense last year, we still have the same mentality. Last question for me, Hassan. Personally, you had an outstanding year mm -hmm. last year. Staying in the backfield, you had a, a bed in the backfield, it seemed <laughs> like. Personally for you, mm -hmm. is there a sack number that you have in your locker mm -hmm. as, an as a motivational factor for you to go out and do what you're supposed to do as a player to help your defense? What's that sack number? I don't have one in mind. Honestly, I just, you know, I always, I always say that my goal is to be better than I was last year. How right? many you had last year? Including playoffs, 19 yeah. and a half. Ooh. That's a lot, yeah. But, um, Ooh. you know, no matter what. I walked off on that. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, man, the goal for me is still come out and be a dominant pass rusher, dominant player. All right, so let's do this then. <laughs> Since you don't have a goal, we're going to give you a goal. You had mm -hmm. 19 and a half last year. Mm -hmm. Who is your basketball goat? My basketball goat, you got to go with Jordan. Yes, you do. So with that being said, 23 is a number. Mm -hmm. Regular season playoffs, mm -hmm. 23 is a number. 23. I li listen, I like the challenge. You I mean, like that? I, I like the challenge. I'm always up for one. I'm going to go out there, give it my all, you know, try to be more dominant than I was last year. But I'm excited, man, to Ooh. see what's going to happen. Yeah. And that's my goat, by the way, too. Jordan is our <laughs> goat, by the way. All three of us. Yeah, all right. Hassan Reddick, thanks so much for the Thank time. You, fellas, appreciate you yes, both. Yes, sir. Thank you.